Oh, what is? I think they're scared. Dude. <laughs> Come on. All right. I will jump in the water after a Hopefully these things aren't endangered or something. No. Welcome on back to the channel, everybody. We are here in the month of May, and it has been two weeks since I have dropped my truck off at the dealership for the third time. I've been very, uh, very patient. I'm supposed to get my truck back today, and y'all, it's been killing me, though. You know, as an outdoorsman, you don't even really think about how much you use your truck until you don't have it, because that's where ton of my gear is and you know just keep it ready to go ready to dangle so I've been without I've been borrowing LFD's truck he needed it back he actually had another work truck that he let me borrow to go get some rocks because I, I decided to go ahead and finish up the driveway put in some bigger rocks while I'm waiting to get my truck back but anyway I put in some bigger rock here at the end of the driveway just had a fresh rain so it should uh, should compact in there pretty good and now I'm just waiting on my truck so I can take that Nice big beautiful boat right there. Hook it up and head to some waters. Does this look foggy to y'all? I left my lens in my boat and I think uh, I think I think we got a little water in there. Okay, switched up our lens so you guys can see a little bit better. Let's take a look inside of the Rackley Roost while we're waiting for my truck to be fixed or an alternative. We're gonna hit the lake today, by the way. We're going bass fishing. I have to go. So while I've been waiting for my truck to get fixed, and by the way, the reason it's taking so long is because of a part. It is an intake manifold issue. It has taken, I mean, I think GM's plant was shut down. It, it, they're just now reopening. It's taken a while to get the part. And it's a full day, like they basically have to break down an entire motor. So if I have one more issue with this truck in the next month or so, I'm done with it. I've just been working around here, y'all. That's what I've been doing. I mean, look, I, I refilled I put, I leveled the chicken coop out with some sand. I built the duck its own house. I built this roosting ladder, which they really like. They come out here and they, they do their thing. And what is fantastic is the birds are now sleeping inside of the coop all together. All the chickens are. The duck is, well, he's trying to learn how to use his house. Before, they were just all sleeping on the ground out here, which isn't really good for them. So after I came home from a fishing trip one night, they were all out here and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna try something. I stuck them up on the roost and every day since then they've been, they've been going in by themselves uh, before the, the big hints. It's like, they just know how to do it now. But God, look at them. Look at them grow. You know what I'm saying? Here in August, they should be laying eggs and we're gonna have just a buttload of eggs every day. Except out of this guy. I was all excited thinking you were gonna be female and then you turned out to be a male and now you're just gonna be the, the watcher of the hens, okay? You're the guard duck. He's pretty excited now. I'm gonna let him out just for a little bit. You know, I gotta keep a tight watch on him because there's still some creatures around here that'll get him. But I like to let him out in the mornings. You know, if I'm here a couple times a day. Oh yeah, stretch them wings out, boy. Stretch them wings out. Little do they know there are creatures of death just beyond that grass line. It's literally one of those days where it's like five mile an hour winds, it's killing me. So I've already rigged up a flipping bait. I got a bandito bug. I've got a mondo worm ready to go at them. Recon, it's got the meat and potatoes over here. I'm loaded up, I'm, I'm ready to go right now. I need a gosh dang truck to hook up to this daggum boat and get out of this driveway. That's driving me insane. You may not know this, but ducks are ravenous bug eaters and they love slugs too. Snails, all that kind of stuff. They're great in the garden. We don't have a garden. I'm done waiting. I'm done waiting. This is, uh, we are almost an hour later and I just, I called up LFD. I said, Hey, I, I gotta have, I gotta have a rig. So anyway, he, uh, he's letting me borrow his rig. I've got both his trucks over here. I feel bad. Like a man should have his own truck. You know what I mean? Let's get out of the water. The water will cure all. Everything's better when you're on the water, ladies and gentlemen, I feel good. Uh, buddy Rob, he's without boat right now. He needs he needs a vessel, so he's not far away. I was gonna go pick him up on the other side of the lake. Rob said he wanted to catch some white bass, so you know, you know who to call. 
You know who to call when you want some white bass, just hit me up. But anyway, we are going to bass fish. I want to bass fish today. We're probably gonna run into some white bass and whatnot as well, but let's get up on pad and let's go get it, y'all. Shoo! Got them shorts on today. Apologize for the the uh, the white out on the thighs. Good. Definitely need to put some screen on that today. Make sure those babies don't burn. Drop that trolling motor in. Let's get to flipping. So this is a midday kind of deal. We're fishing midday afternoon. So mornings uh, out here, typically this time of year, you got top water. You know, throw throw you a, a little blooper around. Throw you a buzz bait some sort of top water frog maybe and once the you know morning shad spawn the shad bite turns off then they move into that cover just get a backlash on your first first cast i'll blame it on my truck being out me, me out of commission here so i'm going to try flipping this around on some buck brush quarter ounce weight four out hammer hook docks are usually really good this time of year standing timber you can flip cover. I just like fishing the month of May. Crank bite, crankbait bite's usually good too. Oh my, I see some big old carp swimming around. So my buddy Outlaw is coming down pretty soon. And I think he's bringing his bow fishing boat. So if y'all are into that, I think we're gonna do some of that out here in some other lakes. And we're gonna, he said he's, he just wants to bring his cooler down and go on a big meat haul and I'm all about it. Try a little tire action. Switch gears from flipping for a second. Run this little square bill through here. See if we can get tagged. Oh gosh, I just had one right there. Small bass at it. Come on, you little shad eaters, where you at? Whole key with fishing a crankbait or anything around this is pause when you get into uh, a good spot you run it through there and when you get to a little gap or something that's sticking out that looks different like a choke point or if you hit anything like hit a chain or uh, if you're fishing trees or whatever when you hit something just stop it for a second and that's normally when you get a bite because that crankbait will back up it'll actually go backwards and float up a little bit and that little reaction it's like it's the fish is stunned the bait fish is stunned and uh, the fish will just react to that oh gosh oh god i had a good one right there i thought i was hung on a chain for a second it tugged back perfect little choke point okay that's two that i've hooked for a microsecond. Oh, there's one. Got him. There's a better one. Right on the point. Man, those fish are always dark that hang around the tires. Get like a suntan hanging up in the shallows. Okay, I'm just a little jaunt, like a hundred yards from where I just caught that fish. And uh, I'm gonna try fishing a worm deep over this little hard spot that's on the bottom. Oh, I got one. There we go. As soon as I hit the bottom, my gosh, hit the tiny one. Wow, wee, that is not the kind of fish you expect to catch throwing a 10 inch Mondo worm right there. But a bite nonetheless, and it feels good. I like the ones where you just throw out there, it gets to the bottom, and you just feel Doo! That was a carp. That was a carp there. Dude, I've never seen a campy like that. That's sweet. I'll have to get one for my wife. She'd probably go with me more. I do watch the channel, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. We all have fun today. Hi. Got a couple going out for the first time together in their yaks. That's just go ahead and smash that like button for that right there. Me and Stephanie need to get on board with that. Oh, got him. 
Yeah, that don't, that don't feel like a bass. It feel like the white bass. It was gyrating very much hard. Well, that looks like a hook in the finger situation. I'm just gonna take the old pliers here and give him the old sayonara. See you, buckaroo. Got a bite in, uh, you know, 18 feet of water, and I've got a bite, a couple bites in four. I'm gonna throw this worm just a second, then I'm gonna go pick up old Rob. Oh my God! <laughs> Dude, where is what it? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. So we just we just got the boys in the boat, and right. there's, there's a swallow attack. What is? I think they're scared. Dude. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. I will jump in the water after a Hopefully breath. these things aren't endangered or something. No. I don't think so, there's plenty of them. Dude, they're, they're diving at it. Oh my god. Oh my, going crotch level, dangerous. <laughs> crotch level right now. Wow. That's pretty good to <laughs> land on top of a cold. He box. turned around and he goes, oh god. Oh god, what is going on? There's a oh, billion god. of them. Yeah, they're okay now. <laughs> Got a good little, good little flexation, a little flex, flexeroony. Uh, did you grab me one out? I did. I got you a pretty little pink and blue one. Good, perfect. I like pink. Alrighty, folks. It is time to get some meat from my buddy Rob here. He wants, he wants the meat. Sitting over some schools of fish here. And we're just gonna kind of do some spooning. You know, you only have one flip flop on, right? I do. I lost it during the action. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that little little mid-level group come. Oh, just got Bing yes. Bong Bing down. Bong? Bing Bongered. Can Feel small. small. This is not good. This is not good. Technique here is you basically just find where all the boats are fishing, and then I caught the oh bottom. wow. That's probably not a good thing, huh? I want something stretchy. Oh, here we go now. I've got one. I'm a, is it a good one? Yeah, this this one's better. That's the one you want right there. That is the solid piece. That is that's enough for everyone to eat. This is a juicy fillet nugget right here. Oh, dude, you got something big there. No, it could be foul hook. Yeah, my. Oh, it's a it's a crappie magnum. Oh my gosh, dude! Don't let him get off. Oh, brother, big in. Do not let him go. Cradle him with care. There you go, buddy. Nice thing about that is, you know, there's more where that came from. More probably. Rogue. They're, us they're usually not rogue. Mm -hmm. This is what the pontoon's gonna be excellent for, okay? Imagine the scenario where we're all out here, okay? There's like six of us on the boat with magnum oh. amounts of fish. There you go. Put your beer down. Get get it in gear. That's another one. You think so? Is it fighting like the uh Yeah, it's, it's all it's wet, wet noodle-ish. Yeah. Well, I don't know, it's gyrating now. It's a little, it's a little white bass. Oh my. I love it, I love it. It's gyrating. I worry about those gyrations, you know? When you feel the gyration, I just hit myself in the face. When you feel the gy gyrations, you know it's a white bass. It's a crappie. If you got that crappie, son, you got that crappie, son. You want to keep them or not? Not legal? Uh, excuse me. We never throw back a crappie. That's a, I bet you that's an 11 incher. Yep. Yeah, this is where you need your glove, man. Oh gosh, this one's gyrating mega hard. Look at that. Oh, it's. Is that oh, good? This might be something different here, boys. Yeah, it's. This has got weight. This has got the weight on it. Oh, oh never mind. Never problems. mind. Never mind. Tournament rules say we gotta throw him back. Okay, me and Rob are just just whacking away. I'm I'm excited. Rob's caught a few crappie, nice crappies, and uh, that's basically. I'm just trying to leave my spoon down here a little deeper and little longer pauses to try to try to get one. Ooh, there's another that's got head and shoulders. Yeah, yeah that's a white bass for sure. No, it's a drum. I'm sorry. Take that back. That is three species now. Yeah, these, these are the lazy. Have you caught a bass today, though? Yeah, I've caught bass. Yeah, so, four. so, yeah, my fourth species. You got a drum, too. Double up on drums? Let's put that on Instagram, dude. Oh, gosh. Got hit on the drop. Dropped it down. Come on, be that, be that crappie. 
Be that tasty crappy. Oh, Magnum. I'm gonna throw it back, but that was fun. When you have the succulent meat of a crappie, that just won't do. No, I'm talking like in the normal days. We would sit out here, if we sat here for an hour, we'd be 100 planes that flew over us. Yeah. yeah. Go to the dam. Go to the dam. When this all goes back to normal, it literally is. It's literally just don't stop playing, 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 playing. There we go. What do you got? No. Hooked up, dude. Biggin? Biggin? Something. Biggin? Oh, dude, he got off. Dude, he was pulling drag. Man, what are you doing with your life? I had, dude, I had everything. You do this for, you do this for a <laughs> This is like your job. I had everything loose. I don't know what happened. It started pulling good. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the shoreline now. I just lost one on a crankbait. You gotta tell me sometimes. The, the bass are just coming off, unfortunately. But uh, Rob's doing like a catch a cook thing here on the shoreline, so. Gonna get his crop. I'm gonna save a couple of them croppies, okay, for myself, but I think he's gonna do one. So I haven't showed you guys this, but we are doing a, an exclusive bucket uh, just for Walmart that's really tailor made for um, you know, weekend fishing, catching cooks, and everything like that. And um, it's the hook and cook bucket. I mean, the best name ever. And this is our Guggen Squad. It's essentially a, a dangling bucket. It's got everything you need. There's 32 pieces in here. It's got everything from hooks, weights, uh, you got your meat necklace, aka your stringer, you got your cleaning glove, you got your fillet knife, you got even a towel to clean up your mess. Um, the bucket itself is useful. It's got a tackle storage system on top. There's just a lot going on in here and they are available only at Walmart right now, $29.99. So they're a limited run. Walmart's doing a limited run. They're kind of, you know, checking out the Guggen brand and seeing, uh, seeing if it's something that'll work. I think it's gonna work, y'all. So, uh, if you got a Walmart near you, you want to check out the bucket. You're getting ready to do some meat dangling. Perfect time to get one. There's also your fillet knife, your pliers, everything you need. Literally, you even have a cutting board in there. So, um, Rob's actually gonna use that for his his uh, his deal right here. I'm looking forward to filling this bucket up with some crappie or some white bass. Uh, it's just something fun. Makes a great gift too. A lot of useful tools in there for really good value. Um, yeah, I'm not going to leave a link because it's only at Walmart, um, but go check them out. Help us sell them out. That'll really help us out, and, um, and hopefully they'll make a reorder and, and we'll get a bunch more stock. Thank you guys for all your support because our brand and the stores can't tell you how much that means to us, and it's been going well, so I think this bucket's going to do really well too. Perfect tool for the, uh, for the dangler and you. <laughs> I just can't open that, but anyway, go get you one. All right, we just dropped the boys off. See you, Cam. See you, Rob. Rob caught a couple crappie, and then he cooked them on shore, and he was like, wow, these are delicious. And I was like, I know, buddy. This is the, de this is the deal. Uh, the meat is just fantastic. He said he wanted to go out on a, on a meat haul, and something very exciting over at the Guggen Squad. We have a pontoon boat coming soon. Uh, we've got a little mercury deal, and we're, we've got some mercury motors, we've got some pontoon boats, and it's, it's going to be a great fishing, some, summer fishing. I'm so excited. So what I want to do is get, get all the guys on some crappie or some white bass, absolutely just fill up the coolers, have a good time, and do that pontoon game. I've never had a pontoon, I've never fished out of a pontoon, I'm super excited about it, especially when the fish are like this. You just go out deep, get on a spot, like, drop the line, boy, reel them on in. Have a good time. So, anyway. Go catch a few more green fish and then we're done for the day. Got him. We got him. Finally. Hooked up on a decent fish. Come on here, baby. Get on in here. Yes, sir. Yeah, you were just swimming away with that Mondo, weren't you? Yes, sir. All right, there we go, folks. That fish had it for a minute. I came over a little ledge and it was just swimming out to deeper water. And I was like, my bait is not making contact with the bottom. What is going on? I kept lifting up. 
and a lot of times when that if you're not sure if you're like man I, I, it feels like it's in just deep water floating you have a fish on so i decided to rear on back and get him yeah y'all we did it we made it back and we got some fish oh gosh sit down and see let me show you this crappie and there's another just beautiful biscuit right there two crappie and a white bass that'll make a nice little dinner or lunch so i've got a recipe for crappie that i want to do osg cooked this up the other night i think it's better to do with a big one like when you get a slab we're getting it dialed and i'm going to do a catch and cook video the next time we go out crappie fishing but that is going to end today's dangle y'all i just got a message on the phone it says my truck is ready so we're going to go pick that up i hope it's running we're going to rip it and hope it just stays in one piece. But I'm excited to get the truck back, excited to go do some more fishing. Y'all know what to do, subscribe right here. Go ahead and hit the like button for just catching meat and the largemouth bass, and I will see you soon. That's right, my little babies, I need you to get in there and eat every single one of those carpenter ants, please, and any other pests that might eat our home.